Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright today. It's Thursday, October 12th. Currently it's 58 degrees. High today is 66. Still no chance of rain yet. Um, winds are at 4 mile per hour right now. Today there'll be a massive grocery outlet haul. We haven't been there. I'm thinking it's been about a month. Sometime last month uh, we went there. And if you wait that long to go there, the, you're going to find all kinds of stuff. I mean, we used to go really, we were going about every week because they get new, you know, shipments in every week. And lots of times some of this stuff would be gone before we got there if we waited. Um, excuse me, I got the hiccups like. And, uh, you know, so we just saw all kinds of stuff, y'all. You you don't want to miss this haul. We got some fantastic deals. Uh, I'm not kidding you. Uh, if you want to see what $100 worth of groceries looks like from Grocery Outlet, it's massive. The whole buggy was full. You know, when they put them in the bags and I put them in the buggy, the whole buggy was full for 100 bucks. I mean, you cannot. It would have probably, I'm guessing it would have been over $300 at Walmart for the same stuff. So check it out. I mean, uh, you know, I really, I really got s some unbelievable deals. So anyway, um, tonight for dinner, we're, we ha we got these wraps, uh, Hillshire Farm wraps that they had at Grocery Outlet, and we decided to have them. Uh, you know, we went yesterday, so we decided to have them, and we were supposed to have pizza and salad, so we're having that tonight. Uh, and. Uh, so anyway, I want to say, you know, y'all knew I was telling you about my car uh, and that it's the, when we, I thought it was leaking oil and I took it to the uh, place where they changed the oil thinking that the, it was something loose and it was, it's not leaking oil, it's leaking antifreeze. And the, the uh, coolant reservoir or whatever it's called, coolant, I think it's called reservoir or uh, something like that. And, uh. I don't know if it says that right there. Let's see. It's a reservoir tank bottle, which is basically, it's plastic, you know, and it, ours has a crack in it, so we need a new one. Well, they uh, they quoted us for the to fix it and the part for $290 and some change. Well, I mean, we're not made of money, and, you know, we're on a fixed income. And I told that guy, I said, man, can't you get this any cheaper? I said, in the part, they wanted $165.32 for the dang part. And I knew, you know, I knew it was just a plastic jug thing, you know. And I thought, there's no way that there's that much. I said, are you sure? I said, can't you get that from a local place? He said they had to get it from Knoxville. And I said, can't you get that from a local place or anything? Well... You know, we were supposed to have had it done yesterday at 2 o'clock. Well, when I got up this morning and finally looked at my phone, or yesterday morning when I got up to look at my phone, I realized that uh, my daughter, Jackie, had sent me a, a message. And uh, Jackie's uh, husband, Will, he uh, um, used to work on cars for a living. And he he's worked at uh, either AutoZone or at the Advance. I'm not for sure which one he worked at. And uh, so he knows a lot, you know, and he said there's no way that that should be that much. Well, uh, Jackie did some investigating and she found that part. She sent me all different places you could get it, AutoZone, Advance. It's a bunch of places here in town you could have got it. And that guy said you couldn't get it here. Uh, so even at Amazon, they had one uh, for 25 something and they had one for 18 something. Well, I got ended up uh, getting the one for 25 something because it was like the ship uh, is going to take less time to get here, you know, and I don't want that thing to keep leaking and freeze. So I called the guy. <clears throat> we were getting ready to go when I saw that. I mean, uh, and uh, I called him and I said, listen, I didn't say nothing at first. I said, can't you find that part anywhere else uh, any cheaper than that? I said, because, you know, we're on a fixed income. He said, no. He said, you won't be able to find that. 
He said, that's, that's how much it is. I said, well, it's funny. I got this Amazon. Uh, you can even get them on Amazon. I named all the other places you could get them. There's like seven other places. And the highest one was $62. I said, you can get them on Amazon. And I'm looking at it right now for, for uh, as low as $18.33. And I said, you're wanting to charge me $165.32. He's like, well, uh, well, uh, that's the price that popped up when I punched it in. And he said, and you, you, are, you won't get a warranty from Amazon. Well, you, everybody knows you can. If something was wrong with it, if it didn't work, you know you can send it back to Amazon. We've taken tons of stuff to Coles, and done, you know, ride with us and drive with us to Coles when we've done it. And uh, I, you know, I was like, well. I could buy six more and have six extra and still be less than what you're wanting to charge me for one. He's like, uh, well, I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's what popped up. He kept saying, he said that. And I was like, you know, I said, uh, I'm just going to order it myself. And I'd already talked to this guy that we took it about the struts. Uh, you know, we did a drive with us out there and back. I, I called that guy and I said, if I was to get this part, and bring it out there what would you charge me to put it on he said 50 bucks so it, tax and all the part is 30 dollars i could have got it actually for less but it would have taken longer to get here <clears throat> i could have got it for like seven dollars less is all but um uh, so i you know i said well i said i told him the story and he said are you kidding me he said Really? He, I, he couldn't believe the price that guy wanted to charge. I said, well, how much, if we bring the part, I said, how much would you uh, charge us to put it on? He said, 50 bucks. So for 80 bucks, I'm going to get it done, and it would have been really 290 290 and change. So y'all be careful out there. These places are, if you don't know a lot about cars, ask somebody else. Get a second opinion. Uh, because it's not right. They they would have ripped us off for thirteen hundred dollars last time, saying it was a struts, and this time they were saying you know, three hundred bucks basically. And he said, oh, I, I said it'll probably use some. You'll probably have to put some antifreeze in it. He said, oh yeah. He said, I'll I'll work with you on that antifreeze. I, I'll just you know throw that in there. He said, I try to help my customers the best I can. This is the guy at Free Service Tire saying this. And then I looked on their estimate. They charge $25 for shop incidentals or something like that. In other words, if they use uh, a couple bolts or something, they're charging $25 in case they have to use a few things. So, so basically, we were still being charged for any antifreeze you put in, $25. And that's, that's a load of crap, too. So, y'all, I, I, if I would have had that done... I would have had a darn heart attack or something if after I found out how much I could have had it done for. So I want to say a special thanks to my daughter Jackie and her husband Will. Um, she did the investigating and, and told us about it and everything and then I took it and uh, figured out what I could do to get it cheaper. So I was a nervous wreck about it because that was going to ruin us this month for sure and we had they, they put a battery on there. Now we don't know the last time, and we don't even know if it needed a battery now. You know, so they charge us a crazy amount, like 200 229 for a darn battery. And they are expensive now, and this is a good battery. I, I mean, but it's like a Delco, one of those. But <coughs> I'm just saying, everybody, be careful. It would be good to get a second opinion on it, you know, if you think it's high or anything. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really relieved. We're going to have it done as soon as we can. I think it's coming on Saturday, and they're probably not working on Saturday. So probably next Monday we'll take it up there. We'll probably do another drive with us or something. We'll see. But anyway, like I said, I was, oh, man, I would have been fit to be tied. So anyway, didn't mean to run off so long on that. But, you know, I mean, I think that's important that if you're having your car worked on these days, People, there, you know, people. How could he do that? Just stand there and look at me, knowing that them things don't cost anything, you know. Huh. And all the other charges. They wanted to charge seventy-five dollars to put it on for a half hour, 
is what they estimated. Plus, then they charge you 25 for incidentals. What you know? Come on, 100 bucks to put it on. Ugh. Okay, I was sent this. Sometimes people send me stuff on Messenger or email or stuff that I think I might be a, be able to use on morning coffee break. This one is from uh, Kim Loves Artie. Check out her channel, everybody. It's K I M L V S A R T Y. Uh, it says, did you know that we have roughly 270 bones in our skeleton at birth? But by the time we reach adulthood, that number drops down to 206. Wh why? Well, a bunch of our bones fuse together over time. Now you know. Uh, here's another interesting fact for you. The word skeleton comes from the Greek word skeletos, which means dried up. <laughs> dried up bones, I guess. So thanks for that one. I think that is interesting. I didn't know we had that many bones, and I sure didn't know they fused together. I feel like my back has been fused together or something lots of times. <laughs> so, and my hip. <laughs> Something's going on anyway. <laughs> it's arthritis, but... Okay, I got some today's tidbits, and we'll try to move right along here. Oh, also, yeah, I've got a friend mail. Uh, this came from Crystal, from Crystal's Pets and Plants, and she also has Crystal's Place. Check out her channel. Um, Crystal's Pets and Plants is what it, what it you know, basically says about pets and plants. She has um, some container gardening going on on her, uh, like, balcony out there that she does once a week. Shows, shows that, and um, she does, like, Mask Monday. Uh, I can't remember right now what the Tuesday she's got... Uh, Tuesday, uh, like a collaboration she does on Tuesdays. Um, I believe it's Wednesday. She does Bible. Uh, she'll read the Bible, which is great and everything. And she does other things too, hauls and different things like that. So that noise is whenever it starts to go into, uh, I don't know if it's going into defrost or what, but it, it, it makes the noise. So here it is. I love this. I really love that. It's so cute. And it says, it's Halloween. Hope yours is perfect. Um, may you and your family have a very great Halloween. You are such a joy to watch on YouTube. Keep up the good work. Mike, you are an amazing person here. Some trick or treat to you and your family. And it says to Mike, Joy, Logan, and Kitty, Happy Halloween from Crystal's Pets and Plants and Crystal's Place. And she's got these neat little, I love all the stickers. And, uh, I used to be able to send out cards a lot, but we really, stamps keep going up and up, and we just can't really afford the cards in this, in this. I'd love to be able to. I used to love doing that, and I always sent stuff, like extra things, like she sent this. Look at that. And then the other side's like that. There's three of them. One's for each of us, I'm sure. Those are, those are neat. Thanks so much, Crystal. Like I said, check out her channels, everybody. Okay. Uh, this one on the tidbits, North Carolina beaches witness remarkable rise in green sea turtle nest. That sounds good. Uh, they are just magnificent creatures, I'm telling you. The North Carolina's beaches witnessed a record number of green sea turtle nests in 2023, a stark contrast to the low numbers observed in the early 20. 2000s, I mean 2000. Green sea turtles, among the largest in the world, face endangerment due to hunting, loss of nesting sites, and climate change impacts. And I'm going to see. Um, here's our UFO one of the day. Uh, UFO or warp drive? O'Hare Airport incident still puzzles experts. In 2006, oh, I didn't show the UFO. In 2006, United Airlines staff at Chicago's O'Hare Airport witnessed a saucer-shaped UFO. The FAA explained it as a fail, fall streak hole, a phenomenon caused by ice crystals and clouds. Despite this explanation, 30 physicists now believe it could be an Al Alcubier warp drive, a theoretical interstellar propulsion, propulsion system that can bend space and time. Okay, that's enough time on that. Now we'll get to... Yeah, I was having some anxiety um, 
thinking about having to pay that much to have a plastic jug put on my car. I mean, I had a, a 88 Chevy long bed truck that I fixed up back in the day when I was able to do stuff like that and uh, replaced almost everything on it and nothing was wrong with that one in it, the reservoir thing. And it'd been, you know, what's that, 35 years or something? So I don't see. And, and also Will said if somebody put water in that reservoir instead, when they filled it up instead of, uh, of antifreeze, that that's what made it crack. Now I wonder if maybe, you know, it was topped off with water instead of antifreeze because I, I don't know. And, and, you know, they would know that would happen. So I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't know these days what they would do, these kind of places, to try to get some business. Okay, what was it? Uh, I'm looking for jokes of the day. I, to, I mean, really, I just want you all to be aware of, uh, Get always anymore get a second opinion unless you there's no way you can or something you know um, okay here's the jokes for today this one is, says lead balloon my grandfather invented the cold air balloon it never really took off <laughs> how about insomnia troubles a man went to the doctor complaining of insomnia the doctor gave him a thorough examination, found absolutely nothing physically wrong. He told him, listen, if you ever expect to cure your insomnia, you just have to stop taking your troubles to bed with you. I know, said the man, but I can't. My wife refuses to sleep alone. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, fact of the day, Abraham Lincoln it says HOF wrestler. I'm not sure what HOF means. Hall of Fame, I guess. Abraham Lincoln, famed president, famed wrestler? That is correct. I've heard this before about him. The 16th president of the United States was also an accomplished wrestler who was in the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. I didn't know that. Allegedly, he had a record of 299 wins with only one defeat. Gosh, we could have used him in the WWE on Monday Night Raw. I'm telling you, that's good. A lot of wins there. <laughs> Let's find a trivia. We got some we got enough time for trivia. Um, hmm. There's so many of them all of a sudden. I don't know which one to use. What? Okay, let's try this one. What animal did medieval doctors use to get blood out of patients? I know this. Leeches, snakes, spiders, cats. <laughs> well, uh, Kitty has managed to get some blood out of me before by scratching me or she's bit me in a time or two as well. Uh, but, I mean, I was playing with her, you know, maybe a little. She thought I was playing too rough, but I wasn't hurting her enough and just you know, nudging her around or either just saying, you know, you need to move back, kitty, move back. And she's like, you know, but uh, she doesn't do anything like that very often. But um, I say leeches. And that's what killed, uh, was it George Washington? One of the presidents, they used so many leeches on him, he, did, he died from blood loss, is what they found out later. Leeches. Yes. Yeah, anything was wrong with you, put the leeches on him. You know? Who was a ruler of England during most of Shakespeare's lifetime? Now, I'm not for sure about this. Richard won, Elizabeth won, Mary won, Elizabeth too. Now, if I am right, uh, I think it was like in the 1500s or something. For... for uh, Shakespeare, I could be wrong about that, but I think it was. <sighs> so it's England. Richard Warren, Elizabeth Warren, Mary. Warren. I, it's it's really just going to be a guess. I, I don't think it was in, any uh, either Elizabeth. But I could be wrong. I'm going to say Mary. Mary Warren. No, it is Elizabeth Warren, and that's what I was going to say. 
Okay, well, that's all right. <coughs> Next question. <coughs> Which of these was a requirement to vote in ancient Athens? No. Ownership of property, property noble lineage, being taller than five feet, military training. Hmm, ancient Athens. Hmm. I don't think they would. it would just have to be noble lineage. Or they wouldn't have many people voting, I wouldn't think. And I, not being tall. I'm going to say ownership of property. No, it's military training. Oh, my gosh. I'm off to a rough start. Military training? Only adult male Athenian citizens who had completed their military training as Phoebes had the right to vote in Athens. That's That's crazy. Okay. It made it sense, sounded like if you own property, you know. Which medieval sport involved two knights on horseback with lances? Well, I know this. Jousting, wrestling, shinty, I don't know what that is, fencing. Well, I don't see how you could wrestle on horseback with lances. <laughs> That'd be a good, I'd like to see that though, you know. <laughs> it's jousting. I got it right. I need to make up some, I got some wrongs. Which of these is one of the earliest writing systems known to history? Cyrillic, Hangul, Ting War, Cuneiform. The only one I've heard of in all three, all four of these, and I'll give you time to decide what you, what you want to use, uh, is Cuneiform. Yes, cuneiform. Okay, what is ancient Mesopotamia sometimes called? Brave New World, the New World, Cradle of Civilization, the Promised Land. What do you think? Brave New World, the New World, Cradle of Civilization, and the Promised Land. I'm going to say... Cradle of Civilization, final answer. Yes, I'm making up a little bit of headway. Ancient Mesopotamia refers to the place where humans first formed civilizations. It is here that people first gathered in large cities, learned to write, and created governments. For this reason, Mesopotamia is often called the Cradle of Civilization. Next question. What was a caraval, C-A-R-A-V-E-L, in the Middle Ages? Food, ship, teacher, building. It doesn't, I don't know if it really sounds like anything. Uh, food? I don't think it was a ship or, or a teacher. It's possible it could be food, but I'm going to say, I want to say building. No, it's ship. A, okay, another wrong. Uh, a caravel was a light sailing ship in the 15th, 16th, and 17th centuries in Europe, much used by the Spanish and Portuguese for long voyages. <laughs> I never heard of that. It didn't sound like it would be. A uh, Genghis Khan was the leader of what ancient empire? I think a lot of people will know this. Babylonian, Mongol, Macedonian, Roman. Okay. What do you think? I think he was Mongolian. So Mongol. Yes, Mongol. Genghis Khan, original, na original name Temujin, also spelled Temuchin, was a Mongolian warrior ruler, one of the most famous conquerors of history, who consolidated tribes into a united, unified Mongolia and then extended his empire across Asia, Asia to the Adriatic Sea. And they killed millions of people. Millions. Um... About how many years did the Middle Ages last? Oh my goodness. Uh, 500 years, 2,000 years, 1,000 years, 300 years. You know, I don't know really. 
Middle Ages. Um, my, my guess is a thousand years. Yes, right, six right, three wrong. Okay, one more. Which of these words refers to medieval shield bearers? Baron, Earl, Viscount, Squire, shield bearers. I know a, a, a baron, I don't really think it's that, an earl is like, it was like a nobleman or whatever. Never heard of Viscount, but a squire I think is like um, a little lower on the totem pole, so to speak. So I'm going to, my guess is squire. Yes. So I got seven right and three wrong today. Uh, let me know how y'all did. I know y'all are, are a lot of y'all are keeping up with it. And a lot of y'all are doing better than me, I'm sure. So I didn't know everything about all this medieval or whatever stuff, some of it. So I learned some things, you know. So I love learning things and uh, keeps your brain going, you know. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's morning coffee break. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. My, my, uh. My bell is, is losing its paint. <laughs> I've used it for so long. And by the way, it says, ring for a smile. Is what it says on it. Some of you have asked. So everybody, I hope you have a great day. Definitely check out the massive grocery outlet haul. It's amazing. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody, and God bless.